Section 7.3, Introduction to Probability. In probability, an experiment is an activity or occurrence with an observable result. Each repetition of an experiment is called a trial. The possible results of each trial are called outcomes. For the set of all possible outcomes for an experiment is the sample space for that experiment. Let's give the sample space the possibility of all results. For the purpose of public opinion, respondents are classified as young, middle-aged, or senior, and as male or female. So the sample space we could either have, we could have a young male, and we could have a young female. We could also have a middle-aged male or a middle-aged female. We could also have a senior male or a senior female. So all those options are what we call our sample space. Give a sample space for an experiment consisting of studying the numbers of boys and girls in families with exactly three children. Let B represent boy and, girl rep and G represent girl. So we could have a family with all boys, so boy, boy, boy. We also could have a family of a boy, girl, boy. Or a family with a boy, boy, girl. Or we could have a girl, boy, boy or girl, boy, girl. We could also have a girl, girl, boy, a boy, girl, girl, or finally all girls. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight options of how we could have um, boys and girls in a family of three. Let's give the sample space for two coins that are tossed and a head or tail, so clearly I can't spell, so head or tail is recorded for each coin. So if I toss one coin, I could have a head and a head. I could get a tail and a tail. I could get a head then a tails, or a tails then a head. So those are the only options that I could get when flipping two coins. An event is a subset of a sample space. So given the sample space above with the family of boys and girls, write the event H that the family has exactly two girls. Well, there are a few options where the family has exactly two girls. So the options where a family had two girls were girl, boy, girl, 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 boy, and boy, girl, girl. So we would write that as, uh, it says event H, so event H has three options. Girl, boy, girl, 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 boy, or boy, girl, girl. Given that is same set, event K, the three children are the same sex. Well, there was only two options for that. So if we have event K, our options being the same sex would be girl, girl, girl or boy, boy, boy. Or the family has three girls. Well, the only option when I looked at that set, the only option for all girls was simply just girl, girl, girl. Look at event J. It only has one outcome. This is known as a simple event. If the event were to equal the entire sample space, that would be a certain event. So if our sample space, if our event, excuse me, contained every option in our sample space, it would be a certain event. If the event equals the empty set, it's impossible to happen. So the probability of, uh, basic probability principle, principle, the probability of event is such that the number of events over the number of uh, sample spaces. 
So suppose a single fair die is rolled. Use the sample space that if we were to roll a die, we would have six options, one through six, that would show up when we roll the die. What is the probability of the event that the die shows an even number? Well, there are six total possibilities, and of those possibilities, there are three of those that are even, so two, four, six. So three of the six are even. So the probability is one half that we would get an even number. What is the probability that we would get a number that is less than 10? Well, again, we have six total outcomes. How many of those are less than 10? It looks like all of them are less than 10. So this would be called a certain event since our entire sample space is shown. What about if the die shows an 8? Again, they have 6 outcomes. Of those 6 outcomes, how many are 8? Well, 0, because there is no 8. So the probability is 0 that we'll get the number 8. How about when the die shows a number less than 5? So we have 6 total outcomes. Numbers that are less than 5, we have 1, 2, 3, Four. So there are four numbers less than five, so our probability is two-thirds. If a single playing card is drawn at random from a standard 52-card deck, find the probability of each event. So we have 52 total outcomes when we draw a card. Drawing an ace, there are four aces in a deck, so four out of 52, which is the same as one out of 13 chance to get there. Drawing a face card, so we have 52 cards in a deck. There are four suits, and each suit has three face cards, jack, queen, and king. So we have a total of 12 face cards. So 3 out of 13 we would get uh, is our probability of obtaining a face card. How about drawing a spade? So since there are... There are four suits, each suit containing 13, right, ace through, ace through king. So 13 out of 52, so one out of four times. Drawing a spade or a heart. Well, there are 13 spades, and there are 13 hearts. So we have 26 out of 52, so we would expect to get a spade or a heart half of the time. In many real life problems, it is not possible to establish exact probabilities of events. Instead, we use useful approximations are often found by drawing on past experiences. This is when we use empirical probabilities, when we use past experiences. So determine if the following are empirical probabilities or not empirical. I really need to work on my spelling, huh? The probability of heads on five consecutive tosses of coins. This one would be not empirical because we can create statistical data by actually doing, uh, by actually uh, finding the probability of heads. The probability that a person is allergic to penicillin this definitely would be empirical because it would be based on past events. Right? We can't, I can't determine myself what is the probability I specifically have an allergic reaction to penicillin. It's based on how others have reacted and maybe I have the same conditions. The probability that a person will get lung cancer from smoking cigarettes. This is also empirical because you cannot guarantee someone will get uh, lung cancer based on smoking cigarettes. It's completely based on human, our own genetics. A gambler's claim that on a roll of a fair die, the probability of an even event is one half. Again, this is not per empirical because we can actually determine uh, probability. Notice how the ones that we chose uh, not empirical excuse me, the ones that we chose empirical were events that were based on life experiences. Use this as a hint as you work through your homework. And this concludes section 7.3, Introduction to Probability.